Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 31st, 2019. So last day of trading for the first month of this year, and we have had just a remarkable run up, continuing to be fueled up by earnings reports. And then yesterday, the FOMC making the decision that they are going to stay the course, no interest rate increase and we'll take that wait and see approach in the market so let's take a look at what happened here yesterday we plowed right through on the on the diamonds yesterday on the Dow we plowed right through after that FOMC announcement right through that downtrend line that I've got marked here popping straight up through there holding this uptrend and looking really, really strong. Another key factor is we're testing um, the diamonds, as you know, is 10% is of the Dow, and we're testing that 25,000 level of the Dow. So we're right there at a very key psychological level for the market in 25,000. So we'll have to watch that as we test that resistance level. Remember, we have a fairly significant level of congestion right up in here. Here that we have to consider but so far boy the bulls are showing strength no sign of pulling back yet there's no um, no clues in price action just yet that we should fall but there is the worry of us being overextended in the short term and that a rest or some profit taking could come in at any time so listen let's, let's investigate that just a little bit if we were to pull back if we were to rest there would be no problem at all if we pull back into here and hold this level of support we'd still show very a lot of strength here can we still power on through and go higher i think we absolutely can um, as long as we don't stumble on any major earnings reports as we know we've seen um, apple apple report a one penny beat and that stock rallies higher we saw microsoft report a one penny beat and sell off so we've got a mix here and this afternoon we have amazon amazon reporting um, earnings and this morning amazon is showing a nice gap up this morning showing strength everyone believing that amazon's going to report very very well and that's certainly a possibility so we could continue to move, whoops, we could continue to move up even though we are um, pretty extended in this in this rally we could continue to move up just based on the momentum of the bulls and um, the energy that's being provided by earnings reports so kind of keep that in mind we just have to be very watchful for the potential of that resting pullback could be a consolidation or a full-on um, sellers coming in to take profits we'll want to keep an eye on that pretty closely because it could happen at any time let's watch that let's take a look at SPY SPY looking good here testing that downtrend line we're pushing right up against that downtrend line as you can see in this morning we're looking for a little bit of a push higher here this morning whoops that's too far we're looking for a little bit of push higher but just barely here on the SPY kind of interesting as we head into the open this morning Dow futures are down about 50 points at the moment while spy futures are trying to push to the upside so we've got a little bit of a mix in the market and last night we saw um, um, Asia markets all close strong across the board and currently European markets are bullish across the board but we're getting this little bit of a mix in here and is it really after a 430 point run in the diamonds yesterday would it be out of the question to see a little bit of profit taking a little bit of pullback today and I, I think the answer to that question would be no that wouldn't be a big surprise but as long as those um, earnings can continue to propel us higher um, we have to be prepared for for that as well so um, SPY pushing up there and you can see we could now get a pullback we could get a pullback right back into here holding this support level and still have no problem here in the spy at all um, where we would start 
um, running into some concern is if we broke down through there and started testing down in here. I don't think that would be terrible though. I still think that would be a, a fairly easy recovery from there. So we'll want to watch those resistance levels as we move up. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues uh, moved nicely higher, bouncing off of this trend line. That's a good sign. When we break through a downtrend line and we see the bull step in, pushing us off of that level and that's certainly what we have uh, going on right now and as you can see uh, the Nasdaq is actually trying to gap higher while the Dow is trying to move slightly lower this morning so kind of an interesting mix of futures this morning and we're looking pretty good overall here in the queues and there's no reason to believe that this cannot go higher um, also we have to be prepared for the possibility that we could pull back and any pullback in to test this downtrend area would be okay as long as we hold and we certainly don't want to see us break down below this level. Any pullback or resting uh, pattern in here should be okay as long as we hold on to that support. Let's take a quick look at IWM. IWM holding up beautifully, showing really good signs here. After breaking through this resistance, just consolidating that move, holding it very, very well, holding on to this trend, and actually showing signs that we may want to push higher here on IWM. So keep an eye on that. IWM's looking pretty darn good here. Again, if if this pulls back, we really don't want to see this fail, this um, this trend line. Um, any pullback into here that holds should be okay as long as we don't break down probably b below this level. And as you can see, if I pull that back, those are kind of key levels um, here in the market. So we don't want to see things pull back that far. I would think probably a pullback into here would be about the maximum I would want to see holding this area right in here um, for that potential resting pullback if that does occur. So keep in mind, resistance levels above, we'll wanna watch those closely. And the next resistance level above is obviously Closest resistance would be right in here on this price and then just a little bit higher right here. So um, lots of lots of upside potential here in IWM to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX is showing us those good signs that we wanted to see with the market rallying, a little bit of fear dropping out of the market, trying to break down through this level of support. I'd like to see the VIX drop down into here. Um, we'll have to wait and see. That is a larger level of support and actually a, a very large level of support that runs way back here. And if that can um, push down into there, continuing to drop the fear out of the market that would be awesome but as we approach these areas here and as we test these areas here we have to be prepared for the possibility that sellers could start coming in taking some profits and a little bit of rally in the VIX so kind of keep an eye on that let's take a look at t2122 this has been the stumbling block and the place where i have my biggest concern you can take this thing back a long ways and it's rare to see us hold up here this long in T2122. Um, but, you know, we're showing um, lots and lots of bullishness here. And um, earnings season can certainly keep us elevated for a period of time. And you can see we're holding up here really, really strong, but we're very close to being pegged up here on this indicator. This has been a very, very reliable indicator for a long, long time. We, we reach up into these areas, you know, even 2017, we didn't see these kind of highs uh, sustained. We would poke up there and then drop right back down poke up there and drop right back down it's interesting seeing us hold up here like this so i suspect um, a resting pullback um, a consolidation or something could begin at any time even though there's no clues in the price action in the chart i want to be very focused on that price action watching for those clues and the preparation of uh, that possibility so make sure you're ready for that in case it does begin and i think it, you know it's possible we could stay bullish the rest of this week and um, it could be next week when we start to see 
that pullback. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm believing it's imminent. It's just that we have to be prepared for it. So remember to take some profits. We've had an amazing rally in this market. Um, remember to take some profits. Don't allow greed to prevent you from putting some money in the bank. Our job as traders is to advance our account. Make sure you're doing that by taking some profits um, in this great bull run going up here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. You know, you guys have just been fantastic supporting this channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, every time someone clicks that thumbs up button and leaves a comment, it helps the algorithm of YouTube show these videos to more people and because that we are seeing some growth so thank you very much for your help there um let's take a quick look um at our uh, economic calendar today you can see on our economic calendar we have quite a little bit going on but beyond a whole bunch of bonds uh, uh settlements and things like that going on we have right here the big jobless claims number this morning at 8 30 just before the hour before the market opens here we have personal income and outlay coming out we have the employment cost index the cp um, the pmi chicago pmi and then new home sales at 10 o'clock so um eia gas uh, natural gas report rarely moves the market around anything that I see so I wouldn't worry about that <clears throat> and I certainly <clears throat> wouldn't have a whole lot of concern about these two reports but um, certainly uh, personal incomes and outlays and jobless claims can certainly move the market and new home sales might be critical because we're starting to see a little bit of slowdown in housing we'll want to keep an eye on that and then later on today we have the Fed balance sheet uh, to think about. Remember on Friday we have that big employment situation number coming out so we'll want to keep an eye on that and also the ISM manufacturing report. Both of those are pretty big reports coming up on Friday. Um, we also on the um, earnings calendar we have about 140 companies reporting earnings today. Um, already seen earnings coming out in GE. GE beating on earnings moving up higher this morning so those earnings are starting to roll in and that is certainly affecting how the market trades. Lots and lots of earnings reports coming out. And as I said before, we do have Amazon after the close to the day, uh, today. So you'll want to watch for that Amazon report. Um, with that, let's take a look at a couple stocks that are really starting to look very, very good. And, and unfortunately, some of these have earnings, so we'll want to watch um, earnings on that. Valero Energy um, is reporting today, um, and you can see has reported a, a nice move here this morning. Valero Energy, really good pattern here, a nice nice move up you can see still below that 50-day moving average here oops that's a two-day there we go that's the one i wanted um on a daily chart moving up above that 50-day moving average looking really really good here and showing us some strength um in the market so i really kind of like that uh potential move up here um looking strong so we'll want to watch that closely and pay attention to that chart let's um um, showing that strength in that bullish move today, you probably don't want to chase that gap, but I'm seeing lots and lots of energies show strength here. Uh, you'll want to keep an eye on those energies. Also, we had win, win report last night, and those casino stocks are looking really, really good. Win popping up here this morning, looking strong. If we take a look at LVS, LVS looking really strong here, really good, nice breakthrough, some resistance and the win um, earnings helping to propel that a little bit higher today. So these should be on the watch list. We should be paying attention to those for potential trades in those. Um, you can follow that along with SGMS. SGMS looking really, really good. Nice little tight consolidation. Nice little trend showing up in here. Everything is looking good. And then CZR. CZR also showing some strength here, breaking its downtrend. Nice little bullish signal here yesterday, maybe gapping up a little bit this morning, so looking pretty good on those gaming stocks. Other stocks out there like Roku, 
Roku holding up well, showing some nice bullishness yesterday, trying to push up here higher. Might want to keep an eye on Roku. That is still looking very, very good. SWKS, SWKS. Now this reports on 2.5, so you'll want to think about that. But a really nice little uptrend showing here, um, hanging in really nice inverted head, head and shoulders type pattern here on this chart. Um, starting to move itself higher looking pretty darn good in swks vips vips i mentioned this one yesterday um actually uh bought this one yesterday vips this may be a little bit of an early entry but nice little trending move moving up nicely after breaking through this resistance holding support in here buyers holding up in this point and so you'll want to watch um, that opportunity for that to potentially move higher. I also really like Home Depot here. Home Depot holding this downtrend, showing signs yesterday of this pop-up, this move higher, holding some um, uh, some good buying going on in here. Now, it did pull back before the end of the day and looks like we're going to open down in this area. So maybe a little bit early on that one, but keep an eye on it. WDC is another. WDC is another I'm really keeping an eye on, breaking that downtrend. We're seeing these um, semis, uh, semiconductors, and and technology companies look pretty good here. WDC looking good, trying to hold this support in here, showing some potential positive strength to pop up in here. So lots and lots of stocks to choose from. And my list is just absolutely huge. LEA, um, nice move up here on LEA, pulling back to the trend. I would be waiting for a buy signal to show up in there. URI, URI, nice little uptrend after breaking its downtrend holding support levels buyers stepping in there pushing things up so i could keep going on like this for probably 40 minutes because there's so many good potential chart patterns out there to watch once i say that though i want to also preface i want to make sure and say we are very very extended in this market so don't be surprised if a rest or a pullback begins at any time it may not happen till maybe next week but we want to be prepared for that and we don't want to get ourselves overextended in a move oh one more um amd um right way options we made nice money on this um by the end of the day yesterday on amd this was a um, an intraday entry on this but at the end of the day we were up 22 almost 23 percent on amd looking really really good and also showing a little bit of gap up this morning um so looking really good here on amd again some of those semis uh looking very good so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Take care of yourselves. Work really hard. Study that price action. Be flexible. Set aside your bias. Remember, price is king and never give up on yourself. Everyone, take care. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.